We are back in the Winn Dixie kitchen because it is time to dish. Joining me today is Pitmaster Clay Murphy from Sonny's Barbecue down in St. Augustine. And before we get into rib preparation, I just want you guys to see this big boy grill that back here. Clay is not playing around. He says when he cooks up, he's doing it right. I'm so doing it on my Traeger <laughs> Pro 34. Thanks a lot for that. We really appreciate it. That's a fine piece of machinery when it comes to cooking ribs. Now let's talk about ribs. Uh, let's get into it. So my big thing, I like to think I can make ribs. Totally don't do it well. Uh, but there's different cuts. Baby back St. Louis. What's the difference? Well, the difference is the side of the rib that you're coming from. The baby bags are the ribs that are cut off closer to the spine, which is in the back, where do they get loin back or baby back ribs. Mm -hmm. Now the uh, the uh, St. Louis cut is actually a spare rib, which is around, which is the other side of the of the, of the rack of the, of the rib. And it's called a St. Louis style because it's actually a regular D-shaped spare rib that's been trimmed for consistency. What they wanted to do is there was such a demand for baby bags that they had to find a way uh, to use the, the, whole, the whole, whole, whole rib. So they trimmed it for consistency and it's become very, very popular. It's a staple in the South, uh, St. Louis style spare ribs. I like it, I like it. Well, let's get into the prep, because I, I, like I said, I fumble miserably. Right now, these are like in an early stage and you're about to dress them up before you put them in the grill for sure. real. Sure, I, I wanted to show you what it looked like when a, a, the rib is done. Mm -hmm. We got it about, about 180, 190 degrees. What I want to do now is I want to supercharge this by adding a little bit of butter. Supercharge, I and like I it. like just spray butter, or you can use the the uh, uh, the uh, parquet spread, whatever you want to do. And then I'll take a little bit of honey, and I'll just drizzle it on there like that. Oh. And we're gonna wrap it up airtight. Put it right back in the smoker for about another. 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the temperature you want. All right. We'll slide this right on in here. Oh, my good. Hey, hey, you got to come see this meat on here. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. I just happen to have a couple of them that are already done, along with my chicken, my brisket, and my pulled pork that we'll talk about. Now, let's pull this slab out right here. That looks like a pretty one. And we'll come over here to the cutting board, and we'll show you. Oh, thank you. And we'll show you how it works. Oh, please now, do. Regular wrap of uh, St. Louis style ribs trim for consistency so that they're pretty even. What we want to do is we want to glaze a nice little layer of sweet sauce on there. Now, a lot of times we'll put this sweet sauce on there and leave it on there for about, about 15, 20 minutes in the heat to caramelize the sauce in there. But we ain't got 15, 20 minutes. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you what a rib looks like and tastes like right here if I can cut straight all right turn these bad boys back over oh my goodness that ain't a bad looking ain't a bad looking rack right there that is delicious now, all before right. I bite in what kind of rubs do you get because we've got a little series of different rubs over here we sure do uh, one of the things that I that that, that we use at Sunny's is we use different rubs for different kind of meats mm -hmm. because uh, for instance Pork likes a sweeter rub, and brisket and chicken like a saltier rub. Okay. So if you look here, we've got uh, pork rub, uh, we got poultry rub here for our chicken and our turkey, we got pork rub for the ribs and the sliced pork, we got chipotle. Now, the pork, chipotle is what we use to marinate our chicken, our smoked chicken wings. Okay. In. We have to marinate them for 24 hours so they're right. So we use that chipotle with the um, cottonseed oil. All right. And then here's our dry rub, which goes on the brisket. All right, so I'm going to try a little of this chipotle. Is that cool? Uh, is that going to mess with my rib no, flavor? Yes, it's going to mess with your All rib right, flavor. So. Go to that, go to that one. Now nah, you'll like that right there. Ooh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Oh, my goodness. Well, I think it might be time for us to pull one of those out oh. and see, see what you think. Not a bad bite. Clay, you done good, man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it, but Sonny's taught me everything I know. That's why I'm a certified pit master. All right. He taught me everything I know. I started in a different job and retired out of one job and came into this. It was like following your passion. Man, and we're having a good time. Too. And then we got our home. sauces right here, uh, different flavors right there, so it enhances every bite. But I'm, listen, I'm a sauce guy. Some guys like just the flavor of the meat. I like to, I would dip it in that bottle if I could get it in there. It's like a dipping sauce. Awesome. All right, so you want to know how it's going down at Sonny's? We got you covered. 
go to rivercitylivetv.com and click on the Ask Scene on RCO tab. We'll have some of these recipes up there, but check in with my man Clay. He'll do you right. Do we'll you be right. back in just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, brother.